Hold on to your bonnets and top hats because the Regency era is about to get even more scandalous. If we're to be given a second season of Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story that is, today we're going to delve into the world of high society and the royal court's gossip and intrigue hopefully will leave with some answers. Today we're discussing everything you need to know about Queen Charlotte season two. We can't discuss Queen Charlotte without discussing the series that brought her to life, the Bridgerton series. The phenomenal success of the first two seasons of Bridgerton took the world by storm, garnering millions of fans who are captivated by the steamy, scandalous, and romantic world of Regency-era England. The Netflix series, based on Julia Quinn's best-selling novels, managed to create a new wave of interest in period dramas with its unique blend of modern sensibilities and classical storytelling. The first season focused on the romance between Daphne Bridgerton and Simon, the Duke of Hastings. It became Netflix's most watched series at that time, with over 82 million households tuning in within the first month. The second season continued the trend, shifting the spotlight to Anthony Bridgerton's quest for love. The incredible success of the series paved the way for the spin-off series, Queen Charlotte, A Bridgerton Story, which delved into the backstory of the enigmatic but often grumpy monarch and the love she shared with her ailing king. The character's popularity and the show's massive fan base made for the decision to create a spin-off, a highly anticipated and welcome addition to the Bridgerton universe. The phenomenal success of Bridgerton captivated audiences worldwide, leading to the exciting announcement of Queen Charlotte's follow-up series. The eagerly awaited spin-off dug deeper into the intriguing life of Queen Charlotte, offering fans a fresh perspective on the regal world of Bridgerton. The series also offered insight into what made one of the series most intimidating, but yet still somehow adored, Queen Charlotte herself. The original series was praised for its diverse casting, engaging storylines, and visually stunning production. It quickly became one of Netflix's most popular shows. The overwhelming success set the stage for the spin-off, which similarly maintained the same level of charm and elegance as its predecessor. Queen Charlotte further explored the rich tapestry of characters and their backstories, with a special focus on Queen Charlotte, her past, and her relationships. Many fans were so taken with Queen Charlotte and King George's love story that they loudly and proudly claimed preferring this couple's story above any others so far in the Bridgerton universe. So now that we've gotten through the lore, let's address the elephant in the room. The expected release date for season two. Well, there is no expected firm release date. And to get that kind of information, you're going to have to take up that issue with the other queen. The one who created all the characters we adore in Bridgerton, Queen Shonda Rhimes. Rhimes, the trailblazing television producer and writer, has built an empire on powerful storytelling and diverse representation. As the creative force behind some of the most successful and enduring TV dramas, including Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, and now the Bridgerton series. Rhymes has redefined television, proving that audiences crave complex, engaging characters from all walks of life. When Rhymes and her production company Shondaland partnered with Netflix, expectations were set exceedingly high by fans of Shonda's previous work. The collaboration resulted in the adaptation of Julia Quinn's best-selling Bridgerton novels, which, as we know, took the world by storm. Rhymes, as an executive producer, and her team masterfully brought the Regency-era romance to life, creating a world that was both familiar and refreshingly unique. One of the most significant achievements of Bridgerton was its diverse casting, breaking away from the traditional, predominantly white portrayals of period dramas. The decision to cast actors of different ethnicities and backgrounds in significant roles, including the titular Queen Charlotte, was a deliberate move to reflect the reality of a multicultural society. This inclusive approach not only provided more opportunities for talented performers, but also attracted a broader audience, contributing to the show's immense success. Well, that and all those steamy scenes. Rhymes's track record of creating long-running, critically acclaimed series like Grey's Anatomy, which has enjoyed an impressive 19 seasons, bodes well for the future of Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. 
Given Rhyme's history of developing multi-seasonal shows with intricate, evolving storylines, it's not unreasonable to anticipate multiple seasons for Queen Charlotte. The enthusiastic response to the initial announcement of the spin-off and the subsequent and highly loved release has already generated significant buzz, and fans eagerly await the opportunity to immerse themselves in this new chapter of the Bridgerton universe once more. Shonda Rhimes has proven time and again that she is a force to be reckoned with in the world of television, quite like Queen Charlotte. So does Shonda plan to give us more of Queen Charlotte's backstory? The juicy scenes and info we so desperately crave? Well, it depends. When asked about the potential for a second season during an interview, Shonda had this to say. There have been questions, but I'm not having conversations about it yet. Shonda followed up by saying, I could live with Charlotte and George forever, but we told a very specific closed-ended story that I think is a complete tale of this complicated, imperfect love, but I'm not ruling anything out because I never know. Well, we disagree. Shonda seems to always know. How else would she have so many successful projects under her belt? Considering that Queen Charlotte was meant to be a limited series, and there's been many a limited series that was meant to end after one season, which eventually got a second. And even third season, we would like to say, fear not, dear viewers. Because Queen Charlotte will surely return to our screens and whisk us away to the elegant balls and lavish soirees we've come to adore. But similar to Shonda, we can't rule anything out. Not just yet. As we prepare to perhaps, potentially, possibly throw ourselves in the world of Queen Charlotte once more, let's speculate on the possible storylines and character developments we might encounter in season two. Will Queen Charlotte herself take more of a center stage, taking on the King's duties, revealing more about her past and her motivations? Will we see familiar faces in unexpected places as alliances shift and secrets are revealed? Furthermore, what of the budding romances that captured our hearts in season one? Will they manage to flourish as the king's mental faculties continue to falter? Will new love interests emerge to challenge Charlotte's loyalty to George? As we eagerly hope for the return of Queen Charlotte, we can only imagine the twists and turns that await us in the potential second season. As we wrap up this tour of everything we know about Queen Charlotte season two, let's take a moment to appreciate the cultural impact of the series. Not only has the show captivated audiences worldwide, but it has also sparked conversations about representation, diversity, and the importance of historical accuracy in period dramas. Shonda Rhimes and her team of writers have not shied away from tackling these topics head on, and we can expect season two, if we are to be given one, to continue pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. So as the days pass until we learn more about the potential for Queen Charlotte to grace our screens once more, let's not forget we still have the third season of the Bridgerton series to look forward to, one that will undoubtedly include more of present day Queen Charlotte. It seems there is more hope than we realized after all. So, while we have to rely on Shonda and Shonda alone to be given more of Queen Charlotte, this has been everything you need to know so far about the highly anticipated season two of Queen Charlotte. While the future and release date both remain uncertain, one thing is for sure. We're in for a treat if and when the show finally returns. So until then, Keep your fans and handkerchiefs at the ready, and don't forget, we still have a third season of Bridgerton, filled with Lady Whistledown's gossip to keep us satiated until we learn more about Queen Charlotte's fate. This has been everything you need to know about Queen Charlotte season two.